Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our tour of the Skateboarding Hall of Fame and Museum. Today we're traveling back in time to explore the roots of skateboarding and discover some of the earliest boards that paved the way for the sport that we love today. If you'd like to watch uh, other videos in the series, I'll be adding them to a playlist as I release them. So if you don't want to miss out, consider hitting the subscribe button. And yeah, let's get started. So I'm Todd Huber. I'm the founder mm -hmm. and the curator here at the Skateboarding Hall of Fame. So I, you know, I was born in 74. Oh yeah, just um, a baby. So, yeah, yeah, baby. yeah. So, but for me, it's all about, you know, I see the Tony Hawk and Lester Kasai. Yeah, and, the 80s, You right? know, that psycho stick. And like, to me, that's like my legends or my icons. And But then you see all these older decks here and it's like, man, there was a lot that happened <laughs> way before I ever <laughs> yeah, became it's, aware. It's sometimes and, yeah. hard to think of that. And most people that come in are like, like you, go straight mm -hmm. for the back to the neon. But there are those, folks that are older and like usually like you know in their 70s mm -hmm. that can appreciate or they, yeah. they always say where are the boards that are made out of roller skates like where are the first yeah. ones that are made out of roller skates and they don't think I'm gonna have one right and mm -hmm. that first what whole first you have wall, a whole like, wall. Yeah, like a hundred of them wow and like more than anybody yeah and it's so fun for me to go oh yeah you don't think I have one let me show you <laughs> like, and, and that so that's been one of my cool things yeah. uh, that and the scooters and, and um and that's kind of what this wall is. It's just an evolution of the skateboard ending in the 80s, like you were saying with the Tony Hawks. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and again, the way this wall kind of is, like it was an evolution and a lot of people don't know it started with skateboards and then it went to this, what they call the sidewalk surfboards. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them related to surfing. Um, you, you can just see a lot of them even say it right on it, sidewalk surfboards or- Right, um, like right. I see right Surf in the middle of the region. Yeah, yeah, they're all surf related and, and the thing that I like to point out to people is on those, there's no kick tails and there's no grip tape mm -hmm. and, a lot, and the wheels are all either metal or clay. And so it took a long time, you know, for, for boards to get rideable. And that's when it started like 1973, kind of, you can see they started getting a yeah, little better. Getting Still more... don't see much grip tape though. Mm -hmm. so, well, um, maybe a few of them have like a couple strips, a couple but strips. not a full, yeah. Yeah, or a lot of them have texture like on the board, they're rough on top. And, uh, but they all have urethane wheels, and that was the game changer. That was changer. the, yeah, yeah. 1973, Frank Nasworthy um, invented, invented the urethane wheel, and, uh -huh. and it was called the Cadillac wheel. And that made it so that you could skate and you weren't guaranteed to crash. And those words, you're guaranteed to crash. Yeah, hit one tiny Anything. pebble. Anything, or not even that even. They would just slip out from underneath oh, okay, you because there's yeah. no grip. But, but the pebbles, yeah, especially. And people tell stories. A lot of people's first board is that Black Knight. It's in the middle, the second row up, with the knight, with the guy riding the horse. People come in, they're like, "Where's okay, the Black yeah, Knight?" Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those wheels are Those clay. Are, okay. And, and they they would get so hot that after a while they would just push it. Oh, just explode. And while, you're riding, yeah, while you're riding, yeah, and you have no say in the matter. You know, huh. You're on the ground, so. So I, cool I have a question. There. Sure. So growing up in the Midwest, I spent a little bit of time uh, in Virginia, so Mount Trashmore, you know, yeah, famous yeah, for all yeah. that. But uh, most of my uh, life, I've been in the Midwest. And so you, you always hear the stories that the skateboarding started when the surf was flat and the surfers were looking for. And then I had read that like uh, the TV show Gidget with Sally Field yeah, yeah, like yeah, started like one. a surf craze in the, in the 60s. Yeah. And then the people who wanted to be a part of that but who didn't have waves, that kind of helped like generate interest in skating. Uh, yeah, Does yeah. that seem I plausible mean, I, or I does would... that seem like a, a lid? You know, I, I a think the story, and, I, I, it's funny you should say it because I think the story that is one story. I'm uh -huh. sure that when there was no surf, surfers skated, mm -hmm. right? But that doesn't mean that they invented skating. Sure. We, th I always think this is my. No one can prove me wrong. No one knows the story. Mm -hmm. There's no nobody knows who was first. But so, th and then I'll tell you why my why I think my my version is, is correct or sure, what I believe. Yeah. I imagine you know, it's like my own need, religion, yeah. right? <laughs> so so we're in the valley. Malibu mm -hmm. is if you could fly straight to the beach, it's like. 20 miles. Okay, so I do have, I'm gonna interrupt you yeah, for just yeah, a second. It, yeah. So uh, again, 80s kids thrashing and the yeah. daggers, they're like, oh, he's from the valley. Beat it, you valve jerk. Is, so yeah, yeah. is he making so, fun of the people well, in this? We're well, not the, making fun, but yeah, like. Yeah, no, no, so the, I, got, I shouldn't have said that. The va there's a few valleys. Okay. But the, the, va the valley that they're talking about is one hill over. One it's the San Fernando Valley. Okay. It's okay. LA County. We're actually in Ventura County. Okay. So we're our own valley. It's called Simi Valley. Okay. And there's just, we're one city in this little valley. But when you go over the hill, it's like Chatsworth, Canoga Park, Woodland Hills, you know, Sherman Oaks, North Hollywood. That's the valley. That's what okay. they're talking about. Gotcha. And they would hate when they would come to surf. Uh -huh. Or go to Venice. This is our turf. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, get, yeah. stay back in the valley. <laughs> and so, I'm a, even though this isn't, the, I, even though 
I don't. I didn't grow up at the beach. I'm in Simi Valley. I'm away mm -hmm. from the beach. Yeah, yeah. So we always thought we always skated because we couldn't even go to the beach. Right. So we feel. I feel like okay, maybe skateboarding started because we just dreamed we could surf. Didn't even mm -hmm. matter if there was waves. We couldn't go no yeah. matter what the waves. That's where you're in the so Midwest. We always did, right? yeah. <laughs> and then to make it even more sort of like believable. The very, and this is like a, this is a fact, the first shop in the world where you could buy a skateboard was Val Surf in okay. the valley. And, and they were made by Hobie and they were Val Surf, uh, made, uh, sold them. And he went and bought the trucks and wheels from the roller skate company in Chicago. And they were handmade, they were beautiful boards. And so I always say skateboarding didn't start at, at the edge of the mm -hmm. beach where surfers were disappointed there was no surf. It was the kids who were disappointed they couldn't or, surf. Or where yeah. you were from. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, or where you were from in the Midwest and there was no surf. Sure, yeah. You just wanted to surf. So that's kind of what, what I would like to mm. say. And, and it's fun to argue the point because no one can say. There's sure, guys, yeah. oh, I was at the Redondo Pier in 1952. I mean, there's a good friend of mine, Jim Fitzpatrick, who's in the Hall of Fame. He'll argue, he'll, I don't know what year it is, but it's uh -huh. way earlier than I've ever heard before. And I, and I believe him, huh. I yeah. believe well, him, you yeah. know? Like, no reason to lie. So somebody sent me a picture of the John Muir, I guess there's a John Muir trail about this uh, an explorer, uh -huh. John, John Muir. Yeah, yeah. And somewhere in, along that trail, at the beginning or the end, there's a museum of, of artifacts from his journey or whatever. Mm -hmm. And in the museum, there's what looks like, it looks like an ironing board with skateboard trucks and wheels huh. on it. And it's dated like 18, whatever. It's really old. And somebody sent it to me saying, Dude, I this, think I found the very first skateboard yeah. ever. So who knows, wow, right? Yeah. Who knows? So the the wooden scooters over here. Yeah, yeah. Again, cool. like, so yeah. I, I know the 80s yeah. stuff. But, right, you watch movies like Back to the Future when yeah, that, they he, tell like, the yanks the, the scooter off. And, yeah, that's cause funny. Because he was, you know, an 80s skater and whatever. And, like, I guess, is there any truth to that? Like, the skate. Like the if scooters were before skateboards? Yes, there's a picture from the 1930s. Oh, wow. Of kids in New York City on the scooters. And there's another picture of them, like it's, it was a race, like around the, from what I'm told, it was like a race around the block. And the policeman was like the official. Mm -hmm. He started it and like had the flag. And there's a picture somewhere right here of the actual, of the actual oh, the race. Wow. Yeah. I guess it was like an orphanage or something in New York City. Mm -hmm. a couple uh, Kids with yeah, because it says Children's and, and Society Something Center. Like it was like it was like a place where the kids I think lived in New York City. You and, could uh, see that as plausible. That, I mean, these are pretty rickety. Like yeah, the, maybe I mean, the box came off and the kid needs to get home, that's, that's so he just kind of rides on it without the box. It's what happened, and um, they they try to jokingly tell that story in the in the Back to the Future. Uh -huh, yeah, that's why I have a mix of both here because you know there's some boards that have like this like a fence like a fence board oh yeah but yeah. here's a here's a board made out of a fence board so like maybe this had a handle on it or whatever yeah, you know and like, and yeah they just use nails and i also wow, like yeah this. they like smashed them over yeah, i mean that looks it would like go a, all the way you through. know a nine year old too. made it yeah it's amazing oh, wow. yeah. my favorite thing is the the homemade nature and um i like how like this one they didn't even cut the skate Oh yeah, they and, just put the whole skin on, yeah. And this one, they put their foot in paint, their feet, uh -huh, and, and stepped yeah. on it for, for graphics. Um, I like people put their name on them. A lot of times I'll post online, hey, Bob Keller, we found your board. Send us a direct uh -huh. message and we'll get it back to you. Oh wow, and no one's yeah. ever No one's ever done it before. Bob Keller, yeah. He might be gone or whatever, yeah. but. So this wraps up our journey through skateboarding's early days and the evolution of the very first skateboards. In our next installment, we'll dive deep into Todd's collecting philosophy through the years and the holy grails that he's still on the hunt for. It's a fascinating insight that you really won't want to miss. <laughs>